Hello everyone, this is One Stupid Gamer and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we got prepared for Kamoshida's Palace ahead. And this time, we are going to finally infiltrate Kamoshida's Palace. We have done all we could in the safe room last episode, so let's continue onwards. Okay, time to go. Alright, let's continue on. We're gonna go through this door here. Now then. We have no idea what awaits us ahead. Here, you better take these. These fine tools have my seal of approval. Use them wisely, alright? We got three smoke screens, one Molotov cocktail, one free spray, one and one vanish ball. The Thieves Assist menu. If you press X at any time during a palace infiltration, you can you can use the Thief Assist menu. In the Thief Assist menu, you can use items or even fully heal the party, but you have to be using some SP, of course. This is what it looks like. We can use the Auto Recover, Smokescreen, Go Ho M if we had one, and the Calming Aroma if we had one. But no more delays. Let's get started. Kamashita's Palace, I would say, is a really good starting palace, actually. We have two bicorns here. Nothing too special. We're just gonna use Ryuji as always. This time I'm gonna. Come on, I'm gonna get you this time. You know, up until now, I did whatever I wanted. I knew it was gonna catch up to me someday. If you're gonna kill me, do it me a solid and make it quick. Aren't you scared? <laughs> Look, if you're gonna show off how tough you are, bother someone else. I got better things to do. Besides that. Maybe it's the generation gap, but I can't get what your deal is, Sonny. What in the hell are you trying to tell me anyway? You're going to die. <gasps> hey, where'd you learn that kind of crazy talk? Hey. I like that way of thinking. Hey, I can't believe it. I remember now. I am, uh, I am no shadow in the, from this place. I used to be living there in the sea of human souls. From now on, call me Bicorn. No need for honorific, Sonny. As they say, third time's the charm. I finally got a Bicorn. Your power's incredible, Joker. Okay. Let's take a look at our new Bicorn. Bicorn. Doesn't know any, any elemental moves right off the bat. He knows Lunge, which we have seen before. And he knows Tarunda, which decreases attack for one foe for three turns. Now, you might be thinking, oh great, a, a stat buff. It must be terrible in this game. Wrong. Stat buffs are more important in this game more than ever. Show me your true form. Stat buff gives a really bad rep, honestly. Got more pixies. I can talk about this. Stat buffs get a really bad rep, I'd say. <clears throat> because in this game, stat buffs are actually the make or break difference. They can, they can make a game. Oh, that is Morgana's all-out attack portrait. It's not just Joker that has one. Every party member in the game has one. I just wanted to show off Morgana's. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying, stat buffs get a really bad rep, I'd say. Ah. Well, there's one here too. Now, okay, now that we expanded our roster, let's try that thing. <laughs> this game doesn't want me to finish my story. I'll tell it later. That thing. A way for us to gain advantage in, in the advantage during a battle. It's called a baton pass. Actually, I'll show you what I mean while we deal with the shadow. I'll reveal your true form. <laughs> Show you an example first. You better watch closely. Yeah! Use this opportunity to baton pass and swap your turn with someone else. Sure. You may now pass the one more you obtain to another party member. The recipient of the baton pass will have their attack power and healing ability increase. If they pass it on again, the party member's stats will also increase. If you successfully pass the baton to all four people in your party, the fourth party member will be able to use a skill without using any HP or MP. Pass the baton to another party member by pressing RT. Now it's 
strike the enemy's weakness and give the baton pass a try. The baton pass is very important. So I'm gonna have Joker use his gun on this Bixie. What the fuck? Not cool enough, apparently. Okay. So if you press RT, you pa quite literally pass on your one more to another party member. This is something that's exclusive to Persona 5. It was it was uh, introduced in this game. Also new enemy, Mandrake. Weak the fire. Um, and and they get an attack attack boost. And if you pass it on to the fourth person, no matter what you do, your skill cost will not cost anything. The baton pass is super powerful, and I'm shocked that I actually didn't kill him. The baton pass is super powerful. I recommend using it whenever you can. It can make or break a battle. And there's Ryuji's all-out attack portrait. Nice going. Great teamwork. I knew you guys would nail it. Improving yourselves is important, but learning to fight as a team is just as vital to our survival. By coordinating our effort, we can take control of the battle as often as possible. Baton Pass will help a lot with that. Yes, so the Baton Pass, very powerful, as you saw throughout that battle. But anyway, uh, I feel like stat buffs get a pretty bad rep. They're not useless in most RPGs, I'd say. Any buff to your attack is going to be super duper broken. I think the reason that they get a bad rep is because, I don't know, maybe there was a certain JRPG that has a terrible stat buff and debuff system that people play and associate it with other RPGs. But I wouldn't know any RPGs with that name. Would I? Anyway, we continue here. Damn it. Damn, there's one here too. Oh well, guess we gotta ambush it from behind again. Well, sure, if you want to go about it the orthodox way, but there's a more stylish route. Listen up. See those sofas on the side of the hallways? Hide behind those so you can get closer to the enemy. Once it's in range, jump on it and rip its mask off. Whoa, that does sound pretty damn cool. Still. Hey, this isn't a movie. Now, Joker, with your, when you, with your poise, you should be able to pull it off. Give it a try. <laughs> Near cover, press A to hide behind it. From there, you can check out what's ahead and enemies cannot find you. If you, if there's another hiding spot nearby, you can press A to jump there instantly. Also, if you're within range of an enemy, you can attack from cover to a guaranteed ambush. Make good use of this to gain the advantage. However, be aware that your cover cannot be used if an enemy is already chasing you. This is the most broken thing in the game. You can hide behind any furniture as long as it has a, re a ring around it. And... The enemies can't find you, no matter what. Even if they are right next to you and you can hear them breathing, they will not find you. Show it's super broken and it makes and it makes investigating the palace super easy. Anyway, we have a pixie, a vicorn, and a jack-o'-lantern here. So let's take care of the pixie first. Then I'm gonna have Morgana use his gar garu on this jack-o'-lantern. Then I'm going to have a baton pass to Ryuji. I got this. Ryuji will then use Zeo on the bicorn. This is how most flow... This is how the flow of most battles will go. So get used to me using the baton pass and attacking the enemy weakness. Also keep in mind you're not going to be seeing every single fight that I do. Sweet, that totally works. That was so cool. They totally can't spot us while we're hiding. Right. That's right. So as long as we lay low like that, enemies won't even notice us. Whenever we hide, we can take our time preparing for the next ambush. Move, move the right stick to look around while hiding. Moving the left stick lets you change the direction, space, or leap to an adjacent location. Not only can you ambush enemies while hiding, but you can also avoid enemy contact and loot nearby t treasure caches. If there are multiple adjacent locations you can move to, use the D-pad to choose your destination and also use D-pad up to focus on enemies or D-pad down to focus on treasure caches. Good work. Keep it up. I have something. Yeah, so if you use your third eye, which by the way you can use with LT, you can find these hiding spots. And even your partners will hide in these hiding spots too. So you literally have no excuse to miss these. All right, I showed their stats earlier. At least I hope I did, future me. Don't get lazy. 
But these are our new enemies, Mandrakes. They are weak to fire. They're weak to fire and they're strong against electric attacks. I'm kind of hoping I can keep one, but since I'm a ton to Oh, I caught- Yes. All right. So this is an upbeat shadow. So they're going to like very positive and light answers. You want to talk? As if. I won't lend my power to someone that's super lame. Hey, that really hurts. Aw, what if this leaves a scar and it's permanent? Sorry. Hey, be careful, okay? My skin's all sensitive. Why are you so interested in me anyway? I'll go out with you just for today if there are no strings attached. If it pleases you. Oh, wow! Looks like you got some manners after all. You kind of remind me a bit of myself. Wait, talking to you made me remember something. I am not a shadow that belongs here. I used to be in the human seas of souls. I'm Mandrake. I mean, I'm with you after all, so let's hope we can get along. I, I feel like upbeat shadows, at least for me, are the easiest to talk to because their answers seem pretty simple. As long as they're lighthearted or or apologetic, they really like it. And Jack o Lantern leveled up. All right. Yes, but I will not be showing every single fight. If there's a new enemy or if something special happens, I will be showing the fight. But for the most part, I won't. Joker. Look, there's something in here. But the bars are blocking our way in. How suspicious. If he's protecting it this securely, it has to be important. That means there should be a way in and out of there. Joker, do you think you can solve the mystery of this room? I'm sure your observation skills will help you get through. Using third eye inside a palace can reveal hidden items and hints. Give it a try whenever you find yourself unsure of where to go next. So if we press LT, we can see that there's something important about this. And we can see footprints leading up to it. So let's pull this lever. And we can see a uh, treasure here. Steal it, and we got a cork bar. All right, let's continue using our third eye, follow the footsteps, and go to the second lever here. Whoa. Whoa. As expected from you, Joker. All right. Let's take it. Hmm. What the hell? He had it all locked up and shit, and it was just some old map? You're hopeless. Do you realize how vital a map is? Now then. Having this will give us a better grasp of the to topography of this place. I knew I was going to fuck up that word. It's a true necessity for a phantom thief. This should make securing a route much easier. Wait, does it say where the treasure is on there? Oh, actually, it seems like this map is incomplete. There may be more of them around. Wanna get going? Okay, so let's start checking what we can. We'll probably find another map along the way somewhere. When you find a map, any areas you have not reached yet reached will be highlighted in red. Use LB and RB to view other floors. All right, let's continue on. If we could actually see... That's really it. <laughs> This is about halfway. Like I said, this palace isn't very big. It's actually pretty small, but... But you can still waste a lot of SP here. Ooh, okay, we're gonna hide here. We're gonna hide here and ambush you. And here's Ons all out attack portrait. Okay. Didn't even break a sweat. All right, we have another enemy here. Take it down. Show me your true form. Anyway, to continue on, I honestly miss this. Making a video by myself. I've been making a lot of with my friends recently, and I know that. And don't get me wrong, making those videos is fun too. But I kind of miss this. Playing a game I really, really enjoy. Enjoy talking about it. It's just me and you guys. Like, I haven't talked this much in a video in a very long time. I kind of miss it. Oh, wow. I fucked up that jump. There we go. Somewhere. As the tutorial says, look anywhere. Using third eye. And boom, we can jump to these sandaliers. Third eye is very useful. Uh, always, always use it. You may find something you haven't even thought of yet. All right, let's continue on here. Ah. We have a lock. We have a locked treasure chest here. Huh, it's locked. It needs a lock pick. We have 11 of those. Want to open it? Let's open the chest. 
We got Nightwatch armor. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wrong one. Nightwatch armor. For Joker, it will increase uh, defense to 55 and increase evasion to 7. Same for Ryuji. But, as you know, Joker's life is more important than Ryuji. Sorry, Ryuji. So, Joker gets the gear. And, as Morgana said earlier, we also found a safe room. Oh, a new safe room. All right, let's see what On has to say about the situation. Hey. What do you think so far? Not bad, right? I'll try to be helpful whenever I can. At, as mentioned before, you can travel to other safe rooms. See, we are now in Central Hall, the second floor. We're already on the second floor of the palace. All right, let's continue on. Right, let's do this. I have something. Let's go through these doors here. <sighs> if the map's right, we still got a long way to go. That's not all. There's all. There's are, there are a lot of awful lot of patrolling shadows too. I cannot talk. Now we, you can't just blindly rush into a fight. First, you need to ascertain how strong they are. How are we supposed to do that? Listen up. Well, we'll need to observe the enemy's actions and get some insight into their skills. You should be capable of that, Joker. If you you can view the strength of an enemy by using third eye. The color that appears will indicate their level relative to yours. Red enemies are of a higher level, yellow ones are about the same level, and blue ones are a lower level. It's also determines if you can make a contract with them. Don't uh, do not forget, you can only make a make a contract with Fuck you. Uh, you can only make a contract with shadows that are the same level or uh, lower than you. Ah, we have a new enemy! Cat safe! Week 2 win! They are also upbeat shadows. Let's try talking to them. Then let's talk. I gotta find out if you're a weird human or not. I know what this is. My mom was talking about it the other day. This is that domestic violence thing, right? That's domestic violence. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, in the mail? I got a letter with my name on it, but it was from someone I don't know. What was that anyway? A love letter. I'm just a kid though. I thought love letters were only for grown-ups. I kind of see myself in you, mister. Wait, what the? I think I remember something. You know, I'm not really a shadow. I came for the hu human sees a soul. My real name is Catsafe. You and I are the same, mister. You've got a new mask, Joker. All right. Okay. We have obtained Catsafe. Let's look at him. He knows Agi, Cleave, and Taraka. Very, very nice move set to start out with. Me and Cat Sith have a bit of a history together. When I played this game for the first time, I had my he was one of the first shadows I successfully uh contracted with, and I had him for a very, very long time. It was actually embarrassing how long I had him for. And we have another new enemy! Priestess, weak to fire and electricity. So you can attack her with either On or Ryuji. Couldn't contract with it, but I couldn't talk with it anyway because it was a higher level than me. So, and speaking of, Joker leveled up to level six. All right, got our urn here, and I think I can steal something from here. Yes, I can. Remember, using your dirt eye is important. You can also check these, but they'll have nothing in them, I guarantee it. Well, they can have something in them, but I'll go into that later. Show me your true form. <laughs> and we got a new enemy, Agathion. We have him earlier as a persona. He is weak to wind, strong against gun, and strong against electricity. This is the instance of something we made in the Velvet Room before finding it in battle. 
So since we already have it in the Velvet Room, we know all of its secrets and weaknesses. Shows that there's an added benefit to making a lot of Personas in the Velvet Room. Okay. Didn't even break a sweat. All right, let's continue on. It's a. Uh, Come on, man. Seriously, more bars. But there's a way to open it, right? Let's start looking, Joker. I can see it. All right. Well, we know the drill at this point. Let's start with this lever. Oh, now there's something we recognize. And the footprints show that the other one is over here. Ha ha! Oh. Do you think? Yep, that was it. Let's go. We're in some sort of dining hall. Boy, there are an awful lot of bars in here for being what looks like a dining room. Yep, sure looks like it to me. Now, according to the map, there's a path beyond those bars there. Looks like they're making things tougher for us yet again. Eh, shouldn't be too bad. Let's just get it done. All right, let's go through here. We have our first lever here. Let's pull it. I can feel it. This is the first puzzle of the game. Though, if you use your third eye, it's pretty easy. Just follow the footsteps. And this goes into... Honestly, one of my complaints about this game. There are puzzles in the dungeons of this game, but a lot of them are way too easy. Like, this isn't just a problem for the first dungeon. I don't understand if it was just for the first dungeon, but a lot of puzzles, even later in the game, are very easy. No, oh, I thought someone was going to say something while in this vent. That's why I was silent. My bad. All right, go through here. Oh, we got some search items. We got rusted handcuffs. So anything with a gold label is a treasure. You can sell this to EY for some cash. Let's open this treasure chest. We got sooty ghastly gear. Hey, this stuff is disgusting. You should get it clean somewhere. Come to think of it, I remember seeing a shadow with one. Maybe if we negotiate properly, we can get one. Wait, wasn't there a coin laundry near LeBlanc? Okay, this is an instance of dirty clothes. You actually can't equip it, as far as my knowledge. Oops. As far as... Well, you can, but its stats are fucking terrible. So, you don't want to equip this. But, if you take it to the laundromat near LeBlanc, you can make it into better gear. After we pull that last lever... And that's that. Time to move. After pulling that last lever, all the remaining bars will be opened and you can freely explore this room to your heart's content. Go through here. Got a shadow. Show me your true form. And Morgana and On leveled up to level six. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Look around this room, and yes, there is a chest in here. Look. We got a soul drop, which recovers 10 SP to one ally. Very nice. All right, then we'll next go through this door, and we have another shadow. Let's Show take me it on. Form. All right, now that we're finally the same level of these Silkies, let's try to talk to them. Let me your power. Well, we must talk things over first. I know nothing about you, after all. I can't quite fathom why any of this is happening. Care to explain yourself? I certainly hope you have a good reason for this forest treatment. It's a gloomy shadow. Hmm. There's no need to explain... Hmm. Yeah. I'm inclined to disagree. I may be a hostage, but you still require my cooperation, yes? If I were to die here, my existence up to this point would be rendered meaningless. But this is a this is way of life in this world is all I've ever known. 
There are other ways to live. It bothers me that I can't Im not imagine a life outside of the one I have now. That's how I think as we... Oh, I'm sorry. I remember now. In truth, I am not a shadow. I originated from the human seas of soul. My true name is Silky. Her henceforth, I am thou. Yes, I wanted Silky. There's a certain reason why I really wanted Silky. All right. The reason I wanted Silky so badly is she knows Bufu. This is the only shadow in this area that can learn an ice attack. This is why I wanted Silky so bad. She also knows Dormina, which is a high chance of sleep to one foe. She is a very important persona, so I'm going to equip her now. Alright, go through this door, and it's locked. Oh, Th the hell? It ain't opening! Wait, I can hear a faint breeze blowing in from somewhere. Is there another way in, Drew? Alright. Look up here. We can climb up these... Uh... These shelves. Full of rum. Hey, Skull, if you dare to look up, I'll kick you in the next week. Ugh, I'm not gonna look. Just hurry up and go. <laughs> Nice. Look, a treasure chest. Let's take whatever is in there, too. Uh, there's a guard there. Okay, That's okay. Go. Hey, Joker, do you think we can ambush him from here? I, it ought to go the same as you hide and jump in uh, on an enemy. Give it a shot. That shadow hasn't noticed us. Show me your true form. Let's take it on. It's just one jack-o'-lantern. As shown in an earlier episode, jack-o'-lantern is also weak to ice. You're Morgana, fight it. And this one ain't dying. Huh, I wonder if you have a tutorial included with you. Jack o' Lantern speaks. When an enemy is in a dire situation, it may try to bargain for its life, enabling you to negotiate it and possibly gaining a persona. A shadow's personality determines how likely it is to beg. Timid shadows are more likely to beg, while irritable shadows won't beg very often. So, Drudus, you can actually get a Persona for free without even talking to him. But, since I already have a Jack-O-Lantern, I will instead ask for an item. Yeah, Hee-hee-ho! <laughs> I'm already part of you. You should have said so from the start. Hey, an okay item. I don't I don't mind he helping you out. You want an item, so? Hee-ho, about this, ho. Rancid gravy. Uh, Morgana, I, I kind of agree. It's an okay item. This isn't much, but I he-hope you like it, ho. Well, I'll go he-home. I'm lucky you're a nice guy, ho. I usually don't like asking for items, but I just wanted to show it off. Wow. I didn't I didn't realize even shadows beg for their lives. That's actually kind of surprising. Shadows have emotions too, you know? Of course they'll be afraid if you corner them like that. It might be worth purposely creating such situations to get them begging for their lives. Shadows seem to have different attitudes too. If we take advantage of that, negotiations may go more smoothly. I'll try to let you know what kind of answers shadows want to hear, depending on their personalities. Where was this tutorial earlier in the palace? I already went over this. Upbeat shadows like jokey answers, but dislike serious or vague ones. Timid shadows like kind answers, but dislike vague or jokey ones. Irritable shadows like serious answers, but dislike vague or kind ones. Gloomy shadows like vague answers, but dislike serious or jokey ones. You can check a shadow's personality by selecting it on the hold-up screen or by checking it on the analysis screen. What a weird time for that tutorial. Like, this is basically a third into the palace, and it asks you that. Oh, we got an accessory with a skill. Certain accessories come attached with the skill. When party member requests such an accessory, they will be able to use that skill. To view the details of accessory, go to equip Y menu and press RT. So, from that, we got a breeze ring. It's not that great. But since we're here, I actually do have a lot of accessories here. These are from the DLC. And honestly, I won't be using them because some of them are kind of broken for this early in the game. So we're just going to leave them alone for now. Let's open this container here. We've got tin clasp. 
Man, looks like this is, it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, I don't think we're going any further this way. Should we check somewhere else? Wait, look up there. What about it? Are we throwing a rope over that and climbing it? Phantom thieves do things a bit more stylishly than that. And I know just what'll do the trick. Good. Seems like it fits properly. What is this thing? That's just a little something I've been working on in secret. The grappling hook lets you zip to hard to reach locations in a flash. You'll see what I'm talking about when you test it out. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. Bet I bet you'll find something if you're smart about it, Joker. Let's give it a try. You can use a grappling hook to access certain locations in the palace where you'll find hidden pathways or treasure caches. As you near a location where you can use it, your left hand will go blue. When you can launch the hook, your hand will begin to flash. Your dart eye will help you locate suitable grappling hook targets. Be sure to check out various positions to make best use of the hook. Yes, as we used it in the opening, we can use it there. Now, how you bring the party members with you is beyond me, but I'd like to imagine that that cutscene in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 happens where Joker just pulls everyone up and accidentally calls on Heavy. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. Ah, yes. Hey. Yo, that guy looks like bad news. Yeah, he does look pretty tough. Not only that, but it seems like he's more aware of his environment than the others. Well, no, living like a rebel! These things are, these are disaster shadows. They are more stronger than the normal shadow. Savage enemies have red auras as they roam around palaces. These enemies tend to be a higher level than the shadows around them. In order to negotiate with a savage enemy, you will need to inflict damage until it cha changes its fighting stance. At this point, you can initiate a holdup. If you are unable to defeat a savage enemy, you can always run away. Press LT, then choose escape in the order menu. So savage enemies are stronger than the normal shadows we've been fighting so far. This is Barret. He nullifies gun attacks, so don't even bother. Straight, strong against fire, but he has a weakness. That's ice. That's why I wanted Silky. I doubt I'm gonna beat him here. I'm not gonna bother talking to him. He's over leveled compared to me. Alright, for Morgana's turn, I'm gonna have him attack normally. I've been having him waste a lot of SP lately. I think he's going to attack like it's inevitable, but. Actually, I'm gonna have Ryuji use lunge on him. Oh, baby! Ryuji got a critical! That could have come at a better time. He never got to attack. Nicely done, Ryuji. We get 60 experience and 500 money from just fighting him. Very worth your time. Ryuji levels up to level six. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Using lunge is pretty good. I used to avoid it a lot in my first playthrough because, well, I just thought that wasting that HP is a bad idea. But lunge is very helpful. It's sometimes better than just using your normal attack. Don't forget about it. Let's talk to An. Let's see what she has to say. Hey. Who would have guessed that all the books here would be about Kamo Shida? She what? She is talking about a puzzle that we haven't gone through yet. That's a weird. Let's see what Morgana says. Hmm. The enemies around here seem awfully tough. Let's all be careful, all right? All right, that's a little more appropriate. Ready? But An kind of spoiled this room. This room is actually a puzzle, but hey. whatever. I see a shadow. Let's fight the shadow real quick. We have a new enemy, Kelpie. He is weak to electricity and strong against wind. And we didn't even have to use Ryuji. We just did normal attacks. So, you actually... Here's the biggest problem about Ryuji. His speed is freaking terrible, so you're not going to be seeing him attacking an enemy's weakness much, especially if there's only one. 
All right, we have a shadow in here. I'll reveal your truth. All right, take him on. And we have a new enemy, Incubus. Weak to weak to fire, strong against electricity. Truly does suck. Dream Needle is a gun attack. It potentially could make a user fall asleep. Watch out for that. Can have Joker attack this guy. Dream Needle. All right, Joker fell asleep. Sleep is a very unique uh, status effect. It makes you unable to move. You're also. It also creates. A technical weakness to all attacks, but if it becomes your turn, you gain HP and SP. So sometimes falling asleep is a good thing. But, ah, uh, I just realized my mistake. Well, it doesn't matter. On's gonna, On's honestly gonna kill this guy. Yeah. So the problem with Joker having a status effect is if, if I wanted to like talk to that shadow, I wouldn't have been able to because Joker was asleep. All right, we're gonna use auto recover here and heal up. All right, let's continue on. Oh, an enemy, and it looks strong. We got another uh, yes. strong I'm shadow here. Okay, during that battle, I forgot something. I meant to get something in this room. You can see it with your third eye. It's this thing here. What is this? Mm. What's wrong? Are you curious about that book? We can take it if that's the case. We got the Queen Book. Uh, the Queen Book? Is this some kind of special book? Oh, and we have a search item here. Wow, I did not investigate this place thoroughly. Alright, let's go through. Kinda don't want to deal with that uh, sh shadow right now. There's a shadow in here. Watch the minimap to guess shadow movements. It prevents you from getting ambushed easily. Show me your true form. All right, during that fight, we found another Incubus. Let's try to talk to it. Let me your power. And let's talk. I just can't lend my power to some Joe Schmo. Poor thing, it looks scared to death. <laughs> this shit's hilarious. Why are you so desperate? Hmm. I don't want to die. Well, you're fighting me, bro. If you don't want to go all out, there ain't no way you're gonna win. By the way, think you can take that mask off while we're talking? It's pretty rude, man. My apologies. Guess there's no accounting for taste. No worries, I'm not gonna rip it off or anything. Huh, that means we're the same. Whoa, dude, it's all coming back. I am not a shadow that lives here. I'm from the sea of hope, souls of you humans. I'm Incubus, from now on I'm you. We got a new persona, and if my math is correct, yes, our stock is full. So who am I gonna give up here? Um. Honestly, I'm eyeing Jack-O-Lantern or Mandrake. I think I'm going to give up Mandrake. Because Mandrake has uh, Pulpino, which is high chance to confuse to one foe. And Energy Drop, which can be helpful, but not really. So I'm going to give up Mandrake. Don't worry, any shadow that you made a contract with and you regret and you want to make a contract with later, you can actually get, okay. get them back. I have something. And we got another book here. I sense something strange about this book, too. How suspicious. Did that catch your attention, Joker? We should take it with us. Get the Beefcake book. Um, the Beefcake book? Huh. Hmm, looks like it's some weird book on bodybuilding techniques. Let's move on. As, as we can see in our map, There's a dangerous one up ahead. we... Still do, oh, and we have a lever here! Hey, look. Hey, this is just like the one we saw before, if I'm remembering right. We just gotta pull this. Wait, there's a round indication underneath it. Looks like it won't move unless we fill that. So we need a key. I wonder where it could be. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go look for it, Joker. Yes, we are too short to pull this. Let's go through here, Somewhere. and we got some roses and another book. I sense something strange about this book, too. Did that catch your attention, Joker? We should take it with us. 
The slave book. Mm. The slave book, huh? This sounds kind of important. All right, let's move on. All right, moving through here. We got another. All right, a chest. We got another strong shadow. Strong shadow is always going to be the same, so it's always going to be a merit. It, it 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 changes every palace, but it's it's going to be the same. So I'm going to use an all-out attack on it. It's not going to kill him. On. Then Ryuji gonna use lunge again. Ah, they didn't get as lucky this time. He used power slash on. On! Ooh! And on is down! I didn't say everything was easy about about fighting these guys. They are. They Fighting them is risky. We are doing an all out attack with three people, which means it is weaker, but it should be enough to finish them off. Any dead party members won't gain any XP, but it's not the end of the world, honestly. Joker and Morgana leveled up. Step forward. All right. <sighs> I got hit a lot. Anytime your party members uh, take a huge hit, uh, they will be revived with one HP at the end. Whoa. And Ryuji got a new weapon. He got the All Judge right. Mace. All right, let's go through here. Whoa, it's so musty. A library, huh? This definitely seems fishy. What do you mean? Come on, it's a library in a castle. There has to be some kind of secret mechanism in here. Let's look around, Joker. It's somewhere. We got another book here. I sense something strange about this book, too. How suspicious. Did that catch your attention, Joker? We should take it with us. The King Book. Hmm. The King Book? What is this? Look around with a dirt eye, and we got some openings here that glow. Oh. Hmm, wait a second. The books on this shelf seem familiar. They're, these are the names of the volleyball team members. Wait, what the hell? All the titles are boys from our school. Ryuji Sakamoto, the Vulgar 8. This one's here for Skull. That bastard! Who the hell does he think he is? Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't we find a book earlier? What if we... Let's put it on the shelf. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe something will change if we put it on the shelf. This is the slave book, as it is all the male uh, volleyball team members and Ryuji, apparently. Alright, let's look around a bit more. Uh... Let's see, the history of Kamoshida. Tracing Kamoshida's steps, Kamoshida's heroisms, Kamoshida's law. What the hell? All these books are about Kamoshida! Let's insert the King book. That's pretty obvious. There's another one here. Is this... There's all sorts of books here. The titles don't have any rhyme or reason to them. Huh? This book has Shiho's name in the title. Wait, it's not just this one. All the books here are about female students. On to Kamiki, the charming doll. Holy shit. Uh, what the heck is this? The qu Insert the queen book. <laughs> Whoa, it opened up. You got it, Joker. Let's take a look inside. Yes, let's. Uh, the hell is this room? There are tons of pictures of Suzui in here. Wait, it's all pics of her? <sighs> we'll make him pay for this. Yeah, definitely. I feel even more motivated to do this now. I'm sure it'll feel awful, but we should search this room. There has to be something in here if he was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. Well, let's examine the shelf. We got Kamashita's medal. Is this a medal? That size and that shape. I think that's our key. Remember that round indentation we saw back near those bars? Wait, there's something under the medal too. Oh, it's a different map from the one we have. 
This is lucky. Let's take it with us. Aha! Our map's complete now! So is it gonna tell us where the treasure is? Yeah, look. It has to be here. That's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, I'd say we're about halfway there. All right, let's hurry over there. No. Now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. All right, we're halfway there. We're also living on a prayer. Come on, I had to make that joke. Let's see if there's anything else in this room. Look back, that's a no, so let's head back. Hmm? Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> Damn it, of course they spot us now. If, you, if we want to head back, we have to go through this guy. Time to make a path. any moves be careful if my prediction is correct that one's a bit problematic for us all right and i'll go take care of it just be careful come on Whoa, what the hell it started moving after we attacked it looks like it's exactly what i expected once we take it down hey you two watch this I'll explain later. Focus on the battle for now. These are shadows in the metaverse called disaster shadows. Disaster shadows will not act. However, when attacked, they will counter and possibly perform an additional attack. Disaster shadows are tough. However, when defeated, they will drop an item and then explode, damaging the surrounding shadows. The more damage they take when defeated, the more damage they inflict to surrounding shadows. Time your attacks well. However, if Disaster Shadow is defeated by a reflected attack or by despair, it will not explode and it will not drop any items. Very important. These things explode. And for some reason, every navigation line in this game acts like we should be scared of this. This thing is incredible. I don't know why they act so scared in front of it. But now we get to try one of our own. There's another one like from earlier. Haphazard attacks on it will only make things tougher for us. It's probably best to take it down fast by striking its weakness and getting it to blow up. Alternately, we could put it to sleep or make it unable to move, then just deal with it later. Yeah, many choices. But what I like doing with these things is attack it with their weakness. They have the same weakness as the as as the normal shadows. So next? I'm not trying to press up. I'm trying to change targets. So what I'm gonna have. Joker do is attack it normally. You don't want to attack the disaster shadow with something that's not weak to because because it'll just counter attack. But it will not do that if it is knocked down. But hence so. Give me use another Zeo. By the way, the song you're hearing is Last Surprise. Great battle theme. One of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. I've never seen a shadow get that intense. I called these scary ones disaster shadows. They really are scary. But just so long as we handle them right, we ought to be able to make them useful to us, right? <laughs> right. If we want, run across any more of these, I'd say we focus on them first. That's one thing I failed to mention earlier because, well, I kept getting interrupted. But the soundtrack to this game is oh. great. Speaking of getting interrupted. Oh, know what? We never ended up using that weird bodybuilding book. Oh yeah, the one with muscle secrets bullshit. Yeah, I wonder what we haven't used it yet. Hmm. Well, I get what you're saying, Panther, but our focus right now should be pushing further into the palace. If you get a hunch where this book goes, let us know, okay, Joker? Okay, as I was saying, the soundtrack to this game, it's incredible. It's actually my favorite soundtrack of all video games. It is an amazing listen. There are many songs I love from it. There are some I love way more than others, and I, of course, will be talking about them. Yuck. Ugh. Sorry, I forgot what he said. 
Huh? You find something? Muscle glory, macho muscles. Gosh, everything's here is about being ripped. This guy's totally in love with his muscles. Gross. Insert the beefcake book. Oh, so that's where you're gonna try that book. Huh? Huh? Is that no good there? Hmm. Maybe there's something stuck in that spot? Why don't you try reaching in there, Skull? Huh? There is something in here. There we go. Oh, sweet. Here, you can have it. We get protein from that. Yeah. No secret switches in the bookshelf, but we did get something useful out of it. I'd still call that a win. And an extra pound in the back for Joker for scurrying every last corner of this hall. Aw, oh, you're making me blush, Morgana. Keep keep that up as we progress to the palace, alright? Now let's get back to the infiltration. Yes, but the soundtrack to this game is really great. It's actually one of the main selling points of this game. Somewhere. Back when I was uh, recommended this game, I decided to do some research on it, and the game and the thing that uh, ultimately made me buy this game was a certain song in the soundtrack. And I will, of course, be going over that song once we get to it. Some Persona fans may know what the song is already, but shh. All Keep right. it a surprise for the people who haven't played this yet. Sweet, looks like it worked. Now we can keep going. This must lead somewhere important. Let's go. The vocals for the soundtrack was created by uh, Lin, who sings the who sings the music. It's also created by Lotus Ju Juice, who was a previous uh, singer in Persona 3. Interestingly a enough, well, not all of them, of course. Why don't... Nude candle stand, gross. All right, let's go through here. Another safe room. All right. Looks like this place is safe. Let's make a note in this place so we can come back right back here later. All right, what does Alan have to say about the situation? Another spoiler? Yes. I promise to try my hardest, Shiho. Uh, yeah, I knew she was. She wasn't gonna say anything spoilery. Well, since we're halfway done, I'd say this is a good place to end the episode. Next time on Persona 5 Royal, we're going to be continuing exploring this palace and trying to find the treasure once and for all. This is One Super Gamer, signing out.